Hello guys and welcome to uh, the Xbox One vs PS4 what's best and worst about each console. Um, so start with the Xbox One. The Xbox One price is £429.99 pence and $500. The day one edition of the Xbox One, um, I think you might have to pre-order that, is you get a commemorative controller and exclusive achievements which you have to type a code in for. Premium packaging, which nobody will ever look at, and uh, the DRM is now removed on the Xbox, so you can now play used games and uh, basically the stuff you can do now on every console. Um, uh, all it is now is just to put an update in, and it uh, it uh, gets rid of the DRM. The game's exclusive on launch is Dead Rising 3, Forza Motorsport 5, Reese or Rice Son of Gaming. R um, Rice Son of Gaming, Rice Son of Rome, I mean, sorry, and Connect Sports. Um, the games coming out for it is Quantum Break and Titanfall, and a, uh, a couple more. The controller will cost £40 and uh, $60, that's a second controller, you always get one with it. Um, the Xbox Smart Glass has a lot of different, um, you can play games with the smart glass, so you can play Battlefield or something like that with Commander Mode and send in AC-130s or um, Dead Rising 3 uh, with uh, you can send in mortars and care packages. Uh, the Kinect 2 uh, Vision 2 now has a thermal and night vision and can now see your fingers and joints, so you can now do middle fingers to the referees in Kinect Sports. How cool is that? You You can... you'll never... You can't do that in real life. It's just, just so cool. Um, okay, let's go to the PS4. PS4 um, costs a hundred pounds less or a hundred dollars less than the Xbox One, which is a good thing, really. It's, I like that about the PS4. I, I prefer the Xbox One, but I like the price in the PS4. Uh, it also has slightly better graphics and in-system stuff. Um, but it's nothing you'd notice. You can't bring it up in an argument if you're arguing about the two consoles because you just you put two two the, you put two of the two games together, and uh, you won't see anything different. Uh, there's a touch screen in the middle of the controller, so you so I think it's uh, made easier for Internet Explorer and other stuff on the on the PS4. What I like about it as well is that you can play downloading titles like demos while they're downloading. So um, while it's downloading, you can just play anything. Uh, you can play that game while it's downloading, and you won't have to worry about it waiting for download. So I wonder what happens if you go too fast in the game. I wonder if it'll just uh, stop the game for you. You won't be able to play it until it's uh, got past that certain bit. Some of the game's exclusive for launch is Killzone. Not for launch, but I don't know. Maybe for launch or not. Is Killzone Shadow Shadowfall, Drive Club, Gran Turismo 5, Knack, and uh, a couple more. Uh, a DualShock 4 controller will cost forty pounds or sixty dollars. Also, that will come out. That's the, for a second controller. Um, there's also an iToy, which is probably just going to do the same stuff as what an iToy did before, and you can do the the stuff on it. Like it's pretty much like Connect, but not as good. Um, I remember, I remember, I toy such a good thing. Um, overall, I think the Xbox One is better, but that's just because I, I am an Xbox person. But uh, I just think it's got so much more stuff on it. I just think it's a, a slightly a bit better. Uh, the only bad thing I'd say is about the price. That, that's not a good thing, obviously. But uh, hope you guys like this video. Uh, I know it's a bit late since the consoles come out, but. Just haven't uploaded in a while, I thought this this would be good for something to do. So uh I'll see you guys later. Right, bye bye.